Yep. Try to do some little connection here. This is a power inverter. Got it from uh, Amazon. I'll plug in some stuff from home. Man, you can plug in a rice cooker in this thing. So it's like, what? 1,200 watt. Put this little cap back on. And next thing you're gonna do down is run the cable to the positive and the negative battery. That's the negative over there, that's the positive right there. That's my LED fault light that I did a connection a couple months ago, still running good. So that's easy. Um, I could go get a drill right now and do it. Punch a hole right there, big hole. Make sure I put some plastic rubber in it so it won't cut the, cut the battery cable. And run it through. This bad boy gonna get power from the truck. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna buy the, that little small rice cooker thing. The reason to that is just to be like, use it in my truck once in a while if I want to heat a soup or something like that. You know, I don't, because after this, this is going to take the power from the battery and you can be able to plug in anything, anything from the house, like small air condition, uh, fans, heater, whatever, you know, but in order to do so, even a refrigerator, so I can plug in a small refrigerator, remove my bike pack, put the small refrigerator while I'm driving, like a rear mini refrigerator, put it right here. While I'm driving, I got everything in my, in my fridge, it's cooling up. But the funny thing is, if you turn off the truck, you gotta make sure you shut this off. Uh, in the box, I have, it comes with uh, you know some uh, ground cable, and also I have a remote control for that. So I'm gonna connect that to the, to the device. I have the remote control mount somewhere on my dash. So all I have to do is just press that remote control on and off button, turn it off so it don't take power from the battery. Does that mean if the truck is off, I just press that off and turn this unit off so it don't take any power from the battery. You know, so when I turn on the truck while I'm driving, I can press this, you know, start button. It's gonna light up green, so it's easy. You know, that's the cable for the remote control. This device is gonna be right underneath the seat anyway. See when I lift this seat, you know, it's gonna be in the box somewhere there. You know, so that's a secure connection I'm gonna do here. And I'm just gonna leave it here for now. You know, I bought it on Amazon, guys. So if you guys wanna do something like this. That's your boy from Africa, man. I try to you know, save myself some money. I got my LED saw a couple months ago. They're working pretty good. Everything on this truck is working good because I maintain it myself and I do myself a service, oil change, and pretty much everything. I will show you guys the final result. Alrighty guys, I just drew the hole and kind of sand, sand it down as you guys see here. So, I kind of try to separate the positive and the negative. So I'm gonna run it down through the battery compartment. As you guys see up here, I sand it down too. Look, it's smooth. So it's gonna come right on top of the positive and the negative right here. Ready guys, as you guys can see, I have this bad boy plug thing. The cable is so short, so uh, just for the video purposes, normally the, I'm gonna have to lay this like this towards that way. But um, just so you guys be able to see the, the screen and stuff like that, you know, um, it working pretty good. So I have the power on and off switch here, if you guys can see. If I press this, it's gonna turn off, turn off that screen. You see that? If the truck is off and you don't want the system to be running so it won't drain down your battery, you can press this, turn it off or turn it on. So I'm gonna mount that somewhere on my dash. I brought my 
you know, my daughter little fans, <laughs> they don't even use it anymore. So I'm gonna plug it in to test it out. As you guys can see the hole over here, I separate the wire. So what I'm gonna do is put some glues in between them to prevent any leaks or whatever coming from down there or something like that. And then cover that, you know what I'm saying? But it looking good to me. Power switch is working good. You guys see it? You know, that's the battery label right there. It got a built-in battery, by the way, so the longer it stay on, it's gonna charge all the way up there, right? So let's go ahead and test it out real quick. And the good thing about it, like I said, they have like a lot of cool stuff, like a USB, you know, USB uh, connector over here to plug in something directly. I'm gonna plug in the extension cord. This thing's just gonna be back here. I'm gonna lay it down flat. It's gonna lay it flat on the floor. And I'm just gonna plug in the extension cord and then run it over here, right? Let's go ahead and plug in the fans real quick. So that's the fans right there. Let's plug it in and see what we got. You ready? So now I got the fans plug in. We can use anything from home, right? You know. Come on, boy. See? Anything that you take for your home, you can use it now. See that? Fan is a little dirty, but it's cool. Yeah. The system allows us to, to do all of that. So what I'm gonna do now, if I if I turn off this switch, you're gonna see the fan is gonna go off. You see that? So you turn off the fans. When I press that switch, yeah, same power bike, the fan is gonna turn back on. You know what? That's it. So now, like I said, I have my little rice cooker. This tiny little rice cooker is even, the fence is bigger than that, right? I'm gonna have it in the truck. Sometimes you can cook rice, you know, like on the go, if you're at the truck stop, you got a little camping table, put it outside and, you know, sit right there, do your little rice cooking, whatever. You know, for me, I'm from Africa, so we try to cook, you know? So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, take a look, guys. Over here, I have the positive connector over here. And I got the negative back there, all the way back to the negative. It's just an easy setup. So it's a little late right now, but uh, tomorrow I'm gonna put this wire into the wire protector. I have a bunch of wire protector here. You know, a bunch of wire protector over here to kind of, you know, protect that a little bit and uh, do some secure connection. But for now, this is what I wanted to show you guys. You know, this thing cost me under, um, under $200, I think so, if I'm not mistaken. And there's a lot of stuff into it. It got a, it got dual fans, you know. See, the fans back there, when the system get heat up, it got dual fans just to cool it down and everything. That's pretty cool, I like it. You know, uh, I need to do some protection on that wire right there, as you guys see. These are just temporary stuff to send you. It's up to you now to do your research to see, or maybe do some extra uh, connection or protection, or whatever, so you don't get uh, any shot, electric shot or whatever. I have um, I have a ground cable over here. That's a ground cable right there. And I'm gonna plug it right somewhere there. There's a spot on it, plug it in it, and then mount that somewhere on the frame. That's kind of like what I'm gonna do. But for now, let's go ahead and turn it up before I run my battery low. That's it. So that's your boy from Africa, man. I just like to share every little thing. Uh, I'm right, right next to my house anyway, and uh, that allows me to come do some work on my truck. Alrighty, let's take a final look at it. As you guys can see here, you see the power is, is pulling out. See it pulling out. AC 120. I mean, I think it's cool. Uh, yep. You see 120, guys. So, yeah. Like I said, it's just gonna stay right here, guys. Right here. So, you guys see, it's gonna stay right there. I'm gonna add some duct tape over there. Whatever. I mean, no need to, but just something i don't want any 
anything scratching again, a piece of metal or something like that. So I already covered my battery compartment. Pretty good. So you guys see the cable pulling for underneath there. It's pretty simple. You know, got my remote control right there. So the remote control, the cable is pretty long. Like I say, I'm gonna mount that up here somewhere there. You know, and for now, I'm just gonna turn it off. That's it. I'm just gonna leave it right here. I'll do some final setup tomorrow. You know, that's it. I'm gonna plug in the, the ground cable tomorrow. Before I put it to use, I need to make sure I have the ground cable connecting to maybe the bare metal, like right there. Scratch it pretty good and, you know, that's it for now. My truck look a little messy. That's my sleeping bag. That's my pedal. Just in case, you know, I gotta park somewhere and take a nap for the night. I'm all set, man. You know, I got my unit right here. It's gonna be giving me power directly from my house. I'm not gonna be missing anything over the road, guys. I don't know about y'all, but your boy from Africa, that's what I do, man. I try to get my hand dirty every day, you know. I need to install my final fog lights. You know, and all that. I will see you guys in this video, man. Just some random videos and, you know, just to let you know when I'm home. I try to keep it going, man. I don't like to watch TV, like I said. Truck a little messy right now. So, for some of y'all who don't know, this is a bumper, bumper protection. You know, when I got the truck from the they gave me the, the cheap one. So, this one here is pretty long enough. I'm going to remove the... Uh, the old one and plug this in. That help you when you're backing up, you know, so you don't bang on the on the dog, on the shipping dog. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys. See ya.